Hello children. Today we have yet another lesson of English from the Sunshine Book that is lesson 4 a French lesson. Before we start with the story I would like all of you to work upon the first green box given there that is related to three words from the French language. You need to find the meanings of these words and you need to take the help of internet for this. There is a help box also on the right hand side but you need to google these words. The story is about a girl children. The girl name is Sarah. Full name is Sarah Crew. She is a British girl but she is born in India. Born in India for her schooling she was sent to a boarding school. Boarding school in simple language can be named as a hostel there. Usually hostel is a place where in a school where people from or where students from far and wide come and study and uh, as it is not the same town where they live so they have to live in a hostel which is a building in the school itself and such type of schools are known as boarding schools. So she was sent to a boarding school in England and now we'll take up the lesson to read as well as to know about Sara and her new school. As we read the story we come to know that her teacher, there are two teachers mentioned in the chapter. One is a female and the other one is a male. Miss Minchin is the name of the teacher and she is quite a strict kind of teacher you will come to know. Or you can say not very, not very uh, friendly kind of teacher. Especially as far as Sara was concerned. So let's see how Sara manages with this teacher and what kind of classmate she has. When Sara entered the school room the next morning, everybody looked at her with wide interested eyes. So she was a newcomer to the school and all the children there around in the school looked at her with wide interested eyes means with surprising eyes or with surprise you can say by that time every pupil had heard a great deal about her so maybe sara was uh, in the hostel as she was living in the hostel there so some of the girls who were there as her hostel mates or even her roommates must have told each other about or the other children, those who were not in the hostel but must have told her uh, one another about this girl, Sara. So by that time, every pupil had heard a great deal about her. Sabne uske baare mein bahut kuch sun liya tha. One or two of them had even caught a glimpse of her French maid, Marriott. So she had uh, a maid, a servant also there. And her name was Marriott. So uh, one or two children had also seen, caught a glimpse means had a quick look of her French. French maid here means the maid or the servant whom she had with her was also a French woman. Means she was a resident of or she was a person belonging to France. She is not really pretty, said Jessie. So one of the students there who were in the school when they saw when she saw Sarah and that was Jessie she said that she was not really 
she is not really pretty means she doesn't look that smart as uh, i got to know stealing a glance again stealing a glance means having a quick look at sara across the room so maybe sara was passing or moving around in the room and this girl jessy saw sara and then she passed a comment that she is not really very pretty or smart or good looking but she makes you want to look at her again now children sara is a newcomer this happens with any newcomer that uh, uh, you might have uh, noticed or seen when you were going to school everybody has a different views about that new person but gradually and slowly when you meet that person when you sit with that person when you take lunch or when you share your things you come to know the real person that newcomer or new child is so same was the case with sara here they didn't know much about her but whatever they knew they were sharing or you can say they were passing remarks on her so but she makes you want to look at her again so everybody had a feel that she wants that everybody should notice her she has tremendously long eyelashes so her eyes was were uh, big in size tremendously long eyelashes eyelashes were big not eyes were big but eyelashes were big eyelashes i suppose you all know the lid of your eye have some hair there so that is known as eyelash and her eyes are almost green and the color of her eyes was green somebody has brown eyes somebody has black eyes and some have green eyes so basically on and all sara was beautiful and a pretty one but the girls as the nature of girls no one likes to someone more beautiful or pretty than her so same was the case with jessy and other girls present there sara was sitting quietly in her seat waiting to be told what to do she had been placed near miss minchin's desk minchin is a teacher there and she was made to sit in front of miss minchin she was not abashed at all by the many pairs of eyes watching her so all the children around especially they were girls they all were giving looks at her or passing looks at her or you can say they were continuously staring at sara and speaking one or the other thing for her but this girl sara was quite confident so she was not abashed abashed children all the dark black color words the meanings are there on the left hand side page that is page 28 of your book so she was not at all ashamed or embarrassed if somebody continuously keeps looking at you you feel a little embarrassed and somewhere you know that they are speaking something for you or something against you so in whatever the case may be but the situation makes you feel little uneasy there but this girl sara was not at all uneasy there she was quite comfortable with whatever was happening around she was interested and looked back quietly at the children so she was interested means she wanted to talk to these children those who were talking about her but not directly and looked back quietly at the children who looked at her so she also gave them a look gave them a look means passed a look a look for a look means you want to talk and you are very friendly she wondered what they were thinking of and if they liked miss mention and if they cared for their lessons and she was also observing these children what they are thinking actually thinking and talking about and what is their opinion about miss mention are they talking about miss mention or it was she who was the subject or who was the uh, you can say the topic of their discussion and if they cared for their lessons and were they really here to here at this place to study from her after sara had sat in her seat in the school room for a few minutes being looked at by the pupils pupil here stands for students children so all the uh, uh, other difficult words which are not in dark there i have written the meanings there but i'm not speaking them so that while you are listening to me you may go through that word and also make it a point to write these words sorry to mark these words and their meaning there in your book after sara had sat in her seat in the school room for a few minutes being looked at by the pupils miss minchin rapped in a dignified manner upon her desk so you must have noticed teachers how do they tap the table tap 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 they do it with a hand or a scale right 
so that sound is made in the class uh, on the table uh, with the hand or the, with the scale or with something like duster and all just to make the class quiet so this teacher also did the same and she rapped in a dignified manner not a very harsh it was it was quite uh, you can say dignified manner you can say uh, in a uh, not in a, some strict or something like that tone it was quite calm and a serious one so that uh, every child should listen to her young lady she said i wish to introduce you to uh, your new companion here companion is classmate otherwise companion also means friend all the little girls rose in their place rose means they stood up and sara also rose i shall expect you all to be very agreeable to miss crew so miss crew is stands for sara only her come full name was sara crew so she said that i want each one of you to be i expect me i want each one of you i wish that you all will be very nice to the to the new admission that is to the new girl that uh, whose name is miss crew she has just come to us from a distance from a great distance that is from a far off land and that place is india the pupils bowed ceremoniously ceremoniously means all of them there is a way of greeting a person so everybody nodded nodded means they bent their uh, bent their uh, necks forward as if they were greeting her and they moved their head and neck and half of the body forward and downward as a sign of respect we bow our neck portion neck basically and the head goes down that is a sign of respect so everybody did that the pupil bowed ceremoniously and sara made a little curtsy in return sara also did the same she also bent and received the cordial uh, you can say uh, the nod which they were giving to her and then they sat down and looked at each other again so all of them again started passing looks to each other as if they were passing or sharing some expressions related to sara sara said miss minjin in her school room manner just like a teacher speaks so in the same way the teacher again miss minjin again started come here to me she had taken a book from the desk now sara before that might be busy with one book so that book was taken by miss minjin and she called her called sara to her and was turning over its pages and taking that book she started turning the pages sara went up to her politely so after listening to the command of the teacher sara went to the teacher and in a very polite manner this girl uh, basically she was very uh, well mannered girl so politely she went to the teacher she had taken a book i am reading it again she had taken a book from the desk and was turning over its pages sara went up to her politely as your papa had engaged a french maid for you so the teacher started to speak to sara that i know that your father has engaged means arranged a french maid your servant is a french woman and uh, your father has arranged or engaged that lady for you i conclude that he wishes you to make a special study of the french language and uh, what i can make out this these are the words of miss minchin what i can make out is that the purpose why your father has chosen a french maid for you is that he wants you to be best or to make a special study of the french language means that he wants you to study uh, this language perfectly sara felt a little awkward to hear this uh, uh, these words of miss minchin sara was not very comfortable she did not understand what miss minchin want to convey and why was miss minchin more concerned about her french maid so she was a little bit uh, you can say uncomfortable and felt a little awkward awkward meaning is given there in your book feeling embarrassed so she was little uncomfortable to hear what miss minchin had said 
I think he engaged her, she said. To this, Sarah replied very politely. I think he engaged her, she said, because he thought I would like her, Miss Minchin. So he replied, she replied to the teacher very politely. Ma'am, I think my father had engaged a French maid just for the reason that he thought that I would like a French woman as my maid there. I am afraid," said Miss Miss Minchin. Now, this teacher, uh, children, Miss Minchin was a little, um, I I should have said, bad-tempered teacher. But yes, she did not really uh, want to understand what Sarah uh, had in her mind, and that is why you will notice further that she doesn't let Sarah speak whatever Sarah wants to speak, and in between the speech only she stops her once or twice. And towards the end, you will find that she is really embarrassed. Miss Minchin feels embarrassed about what the way she had behaved with Sara. So I am afraid," said Miss Minchin with a slightly sour smile. Now, what is a sour smile here? Sour means she was not quite, uh, you can say, uh, unpleasant looks she gave to Sara. एंड uh, uh, जब आप बहुत खुश नहीं होते और आपको पता चलता है सपोज आपका फ्रेंड ने आपके साथ कुछ गलत किया है एंड यू कम टू नो दैट दैट ही हैज़ डन समथिंग रॉन्ग बट द फ्रेंड डजेंट नो अबाउट इट सो वेन बोथ ऑफ यू स्टार्ट इंटरैक्टिंग यू पास अ स्माइल अ लुक टू दैट फ्रेंड दैट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू शो रियली दैट यू नो द थिंग दैट ही हैज़ और शी हैज़ चीटेड यू बट येस यू पास अ स्माइल दैट इज़ नोन एज अ सार स्माइल आई एम अफ्रेड सेट मिस मिनजिन विद अ स्लाइटली सार स्माइल आई हैव रिटन हियर एंड अनप्लेजेंट एक्सप्रेशन मीन्स जो उनकी लुक्स थी जो उनका एक्सप्रेशन था जो फेस के जेस्टर थे वो बिल्कुल भी अच्छे नहीं थे मतलब अपीलिंग नहीं थे काम डाउन नहीं थे दे वर क्वाइट अनोइंग वन दैट यू हैव बीन अ वेरी स्पॉइल्ड लिटिल गर्ल मीन्स जैसे बेटा मैं इसको हिंदी में एक्सप्लेन करती हूँ कि आपके पापा ने आपको बिगाड़ रखा है स्पॉइल चाइल्ड कौन होता है बिगड़ा हुआ बच्चा दैट यू हैव बीन अ वेरी स्पॉइल्ड लिटिल गर्ल एंड ऑलवेज इमेजिन दैट थिंग्स आर डन बिकॉज यू लाइक दैम सो शी मिस मिनचिन वॉज इन अ बैड मूड एंड शी टोल्ड दिस टू सारा दैट आई थिंक यू आर अ स्पॉइल्ड गर्ल एंड इट इज़ रॉन्ग ऑन योर पार्ट टू इमेजिन दैट वट एवर यू विल लाइक विल बी डन टू यू एंड द चॉइस ऑफ द मेड दैट इज़ अ फ्रेंच मेड इज नॉट बिकॉज यू वुड लाइक to have a french maid but the reason is that your father wants you to learn french to have a special study of this language and that is why a french maid who will speak in french with you will be a great help so she comments sara saying that you are a very spoiled little girl and always imagine that things are done because you like them my impression is that your papa wish you to learn french so the purpose of having a french made for you was not really that you like it but the reason is that your father wanted you to learn the language that is french so children i take a pause here and will continue this lesson in part 2